to Candace Payne Chewbacca Mom. <laughs> seen the video. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It means that I can still go to Target. Awesome. So, I love that. Let me tell you the coolest thing. Um, May 19th, so it hasn't even been a year, y'all. May 19th, 2016, I went to go return some yoga pants to Kohl's. Do y'all have Kohl's out here? Yeah. Okay. So I went to go do that, and then I couldn't find other pants that fit me, and in the process, I'm a mama of a seven and a six-year-old, so I was like, I'll get them a toy with my return money. You know what I'm talking about? Just being a good mom. And I go through the toy section, which looked like it had been blown up by a nuclear bomb. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been in the toy section in your polls, and it's like the same, but this one was like crazy. I think really what happens is that moms just say, go to the to toy section, I'll find you in 30 minutes, right? So the kids go there, they go play, it's crazy. I walk through and I accidentally bumped against this mask that um, was a Star Wars mask. If you can't tell, I kind of like Star Wars. Amen. Anybody? Star Wars fan? All right, did y'all see Rogue One yet? Anybody? Yeah. Better question, who has not seen Rogue One? Oh. Some of y'all are just straight up liars because I'm pretty sure that was in the equal parts of yes and no. So, um, just jokes though. But uh, love Star Wars, so I found this Chewbacca mask that when I accidentally bumped into it, it made a growl and like the Chewbacca noise. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Wow. Like Chewbacca just, yeah, nailed it. Hashtag nailed it. So, um, I get this mask and I decide I'm gonna put it on for myself and buy it for myself because it's my birthday week after all. My kids, you know, they're gonna take it from me at some point, but really, truth be known, this was gonna be mine. Um, I decided to get in my car, go finish some errands after I bought the mask. And it was 2.30 in the afternoon and I had about 30 minutes left before I had to begin adulting. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Like I had to be the grown up in the situation and get my kids from school. So I thought, I've got 30 minutes, I'm, and the, the mask is calling me from the bag, like it's the Jumanji drums, you know? So I'm like, I've got, I've got to play with this thing for just a little bit. And not only did I want to play for a little bit, but I wanted to share that with like any of my other friends on Facebook that were stay-at-home moms, and be like, listen, you're about to see my kids wear this really cute mask and play with it on Instagram, but I want you to know before they get it, it was mine to begin with, right? So that moment right there, was just a small moment in a very quick, fun, lighthearted, let me take some time for my day and play. And can I tell you from that moment, 100% became a movement. 100% became a movement. Y'all, I finished the video, and if you haven't seen it, let me explain it really quick. It's really deep and philosophical. It's <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's, um, it's a four minute video with three minutes of laughter, right? Yeah, so like if you've watched it, I'm like, why are you still watching it? You know what I mean? Um, so I'm laughing in this Chewbacca mask. That's the entirety of the video in all honesty. And I quit doing the video and I'm like, okay, I've gotta go pick up my kids. And I, my phone starts blowing up with text messages from friends. They're like, Candace, I just watched that. That was hilarious, I'm gonna share it. Okay, share it, that's cool, yeah. yeah. I mean, think about it, I'm a 37 year old mom, I'm like, who are you gonna share it with? Yeah, go ahead, share it. <laughs> Some of y'all know the result of the story. You're like, yeah, I got it. Um, let's just say that that happened at 2.30 in the afternoon. By 5 p.m., I had over 1,000 views. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever had like 1,000 views on something, but just 1,000, I was like, hey, 
that's pretty cool. People are liking this and they think it's funny. Ha ha. Um, by dinner time, my husband had come home. I, it was, we were putting the kids to bed and I had about 50,000 views. And I'm thinking, I don't know 50,000 people. <laughs> so who's watching this, right? How do I delete it? <laughs> uh, started getting that sick feeling in my stomach. And I look over at my husband and I go, hey, hey babe, I was just wondering, um, did you just like happen to see this video online at all? Did you, I posted it earlier today and it's that mask over there that's on the couch. Did you see that? And he goes, yeah, I saw something about it, but I looked at it and it was like four minutes long and I honestly don't have time to watch it right now. Right? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. So we go to bed. This is... Mind you, 2.30 in the afternoon till 11 o'clock at night is when we start getting ready for bed. By 11 p.m., I've had 1 million views. What? Right? Thinking the exact same thing. This thing was moving like I couldn't stop it. And I, I started thinking, okay, I'm going to um, really find out what makes a viral video a viral video. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Like, because I didn't want to be that moron that posted something on the internet webs where I'm like, hey, y'all, I went viral. And everybody's like, that's not really viral. That's just a million. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to be that nerd. So I decided to go to, like, the most trusted place I know, which is Wikipedia. And I looked up <laughs> uh, how many views makes a video viral. And it said if you have 5 million views within a 24-hour period, it is a viral video. Like, that's the definition. So I was thinking... This may actually happen, y'all. Right? So before I went to bed, I posted one million views, like all in capital letters, like, ah! and you know, I was like, this is awesome. If I die today, it'd be great. You know, I'm like, I've lived. And um, I went to bed. My husband still hadn't seen the video. Kid you not. So we go to bed. Can I tell you something that I just realized a few weeks ago? While I was sleeping. The video was going viral. I'm talking like the only other Facebook Live video out there that had a lot of million views was a BuzzFeed video. Do y'all know who BuzzFeed is? Yeah, y'all are teenagers, y'all get it. Hashtag hip and cool. Um, so, BuzzFeed had posted this video of them putting rubber bands on a watermelon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you saw it! There you go, you're part of the 10 million. So there was 10 million people that watched that video and that was the highest rated views on a Facebook Live video to that date. While I was sleeping, the view count kept crawling up and crawling up and moving up and moving up. And by the time I woke up at about 6.30 in the next morning, I look at my phone and it is blown up with all these Facebook notifications and about nine to 12 like voicemails and text messages. I start listening to my voicemail and it's a guy with a British accent, the first thing I hear. Yes, good morning. I'm looking for Mrs. Candice Payne. This is such and such and such, such from the BBC. I have Oh my gosh, they found me. Like, I just was like terror in my stomach. I was going to throw up. And so then, I, the next message I hear, Hi, yeah, this is so-and-so with Fox News. We'd like to get... Why? 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 What in my past has come to haunt me? <laughs> this morning I've paid my bills. Jesus, we're out of debt, mostly. You know, I'm like really searching soul deep. I'm like, what has happened? And I open up Facebook, and I realize...